North Carolina, a state in the southeast of the United States, famous for the Carolina Panthers, tornadoes, and for the Wright brothers first flying there. America has built a granite memorial to mark the spot where man first took to the air. Well, what else is there to know? Well, for most of its time before the settlers came, it was inhabited by Native Americans, with several tribes called Bear River Indians, Cape Fear Indians, and several more tribes, all of them living in mostly different areas in North Carolina. Then, an Italian explorer called Giovanni di Vorazone was the first European to visit North Carolina in 1524. He was on his way to charter the Atlantic coast and his job was to find a route to the Pacific and he was paid by King Francis I of France. He made landfall in Cape Fear, North Carolina. He also discovered the New York Bay. In 1584, a lot later, Sir Walter Raleigh sent several ships of settlers to settle in North Carolina's Ronick Island, but the settlers had to leave back to England after they encountered several hardships, including hunger. Then, in 1587, John White established another English colony in Roanoke. Later in August, Virginia Dare is born, becoming the first child christened on American soil. Later, John returns to England to collect more supplies and the colony is, is experiencing, experiencing hunger. Later in 1590, John returns to Runnock Island and finds that all the settlers have disappeared and the word Croatian is found on a tree and is still the fate of the lost colony still remains a mystery. In 1655, Nathaniel Batts becomes the first permanent residence of North Carolina. <clears throat> Bath is the first town in North Carolina to be built in 1705. In 1711 to 1713, the Tuscarquo War erupted between the native Indians and white settlers. After two years of fighting, the Tuscaro ended the war, marking the last significant effort to stop the spread of settlers in America. Do you remember Blackbeard from old history classes and old movies? Well, he was a notorious pirate and he was killed on the coast of North Carolina. He was killed by a British naval force under Lieutenant Robert Maynard to North Carolina to finish him. And on November 22nd, 1718, Blackbeard was defeated in a bloody battle of Ocracoke Island. Let's skip into time a bit. Now it's America demanding independence from England and North Carolina is with 13 states. And guess what? A battle is formed against the British. The Battle of Moores Creek Bridge is the first battle in North Carolina. And in the 12th of April, 1776, North Carolina is the first state to vow independence, making it the first state to be a free, sovereign nation. In 1804, there was a small war wage against Georgia and North Carolina due to some neighborly disrupts. In 1828, Andrew Jackson becomes the first president from North Carolina, and North Carolinas obviously voted for him. Later in 1861 to 1865, the U.S. Civil War began, killing almost over 40,000 North Carolinans. Then the Battle of Bentonville erupted in 1865, and a huge loss to the Confederates and the Union soldiers won. The most major points of North Carolina in history, I'm sure you've seen if you've been there, is the many number plates at the back of the car, is the Wright brothers, and they finally flew in the Kitty Hawk. America has built a granite memorial to mark the spot where man first took to the air, a tribute in stone to the famous Wright brothers, the men who first flew in a heavier-than-air machine. And still alive today is the native who saw the flight, J.T. Daniels. We were here when the Wright brothers made their first flight. When they came down here, the people thought they were crazy. 
But when we saw the plane fly, it was the prettiest bird we ever saw. And on the 34th birthday of the airplane, probably the greatest invention of modern times, America's Naval Air Force salutes the memory of the pioneers of the Skyway. In 1994, Rao is ranked the best place to live in in the United States. In 1996, Hurricane Fran strikes North Carolina. That is it. Thank you very much for listening and watching. I hope you learnt a lot.